And here we are with question six. As you see in the picture, we have two parallel, two parallel capacitor, C1 and C2. They ask if C2 is equal double C1, C2 is equal double C1, and the energy stored in C1 is U. What is the energy stored in C2? So the capacitance in C2 is double the capacitance in C1. So how this will affect the energy stored in C2? So to start solving this question, we need to remember this equation. U1, which is the energy stored, U equal half C V square. So I applied this equation for both capacitors C1 and C2 as you see here. Let's go further. We replace as they said in the given. We replace C2 by what? By C double C1. So C2 equal double C1 according to the given. So we replace it, we replace it in this equation. So U2, the new form of U2 is equal half instead of C2. We replace it by 2c1 v square. So we arrange the equation, we simplify half and 2. So the energy stored in the second capacitor, which is u2, is equal now c1 v square. Now take a look or compare u1 to u2. So look here at these two equations u1 is equal half c1 v square. But U2 is equal C1 V squared. So U2 is double that amount, right? It's double U1. So again, the correct answer is the first answer.